2019 was a big year for the Mighty Moose 5K fundraising run. The small community-based run in Concord raised $200,000 for ovarian cancer research in just their second year. And then came 2020. We knew we weren't going to be able to hold the race the same way this year. Derek Swaim lost his wife, Jenna, in 2018 at the age of 43. He and his three kids started the race to raise money for Dana-Farber and Brigham and Women's in her memory. Canceling wasn't an option, so they decided to go virtual. Push it hard all the way through. Instead of one big race on one day, it's lots of little races over two weeks. Friends, families, and neighborhoods planning their own small events. It's been really amazing, just unexpected um, in, all, in some, some very, very positive ways. Derek says the format has actually been a big win, 800 racers, and this is no longer a small community event. By going virtual, we've been able to expand um, the number of people who could both run and, and donate. So now we're national in the sense that we have people from Alaska and California and Florida, North Carolina and the states in between who are now part of the Mighty Moose for the first time. Not only is the race run all over the country now, the donations are way up. A pandemic effect, possibly, and something that's injected new love into this already emotional event. We're in this time where we're somewhat disconnected, and yet people are rallying around this cause to, to prevent ovarian cancer, which is so important to the Mighty Moose and to everyone involved. Um, but the generosity this year has just been tremendous. At this point, they've raised more than $220,000, and because there's no overhead this year, 100% of that money will go to cancer research. The race runs through October 11th. For more information, go to our website, cbsboston.com, to see how you can help. Kate Merrill, WBZ News.